Okay, so I got some uh, some new headphones. Hopefully that'll uh, fix my audio problems. Oh, they were on my end. Hopefully it didn't sound weird to you guys. I think we lost audio in a few videos, and then at one time I said I put audio in the background. I didn't. I put it too low, and I didn't hear it anyway. So whatever. I'll have to tinker with it now, but hopefully this is a more stable situation. Uh, so we're fighting against something here. Uh, it's got a 66. There's a J right there. Uh, I don't know what any of that says. So, uh, 365, we lost the last one. Um, kind of sucks, but what can you do? Um, yeah, so we're at 365. Knocked down pretty low this time. Let's go take a look at our defenses here. This is kind of the benefit of being able to do this a little later. Uh, is they've gotten a lot of their attacks in so we can kind of see on, on our end uh, what's going on here and, and where we're losing or what's going on uh, so as, as usual the the bottom team here is uh, not as successful as the as the top team uh, I got both here and the first team succeeded where the second team failed uh, and of course that comes back to the same thing um, there's not enough kill potential in the bottom team I mean, Charles hits pretty hard, but uh, he's not a main damage dealer. He's not a counter set, right? So he's just kind of there for show. Um, hopefully, he gets some RNG procs. Because, I mean, Charles can just S1 into S2 somebody, and then they die. And now suddenly it's a three on two. Uh, but even that, like, again, it, it's, it's randomized. Um, and for, you know, so that's fine. Uh, but yeah, I'm probably going to change that once I get Arbor Vildred, as, as I keep saying. Um, we'll see what I change. What I end up changing it to. Uh, so it looks like we've already kind of stomped out this team as usual when we're this low. Uh, what's left is this here. If I can open it. Okay. Oh yeah, everybody's summoning right now, so we're we're getting uh, disconnected constantly. Let's take a look here. So I think this is going to be the most interesting one. Uh, I couldn't see the other two. Yeah, there's probably a reason why these like these are burned out. Let's see what they had here, just for the sake of it. Uh, so this is, yeah, this is pretty easy to take down. This is mildly easy to take down. Uh, let's see what's over here. Of course, some more connecting issues. Uh, I love this uh, this idea that suddenly people are. I think uh, YouTube had some changes roll out so that like, uh, you don't have to worry about making videos too long. You can make them shorter now. Uh, something about uh, ads or something. I, I don't have obviously. I don't know. You might see ads on this channel. I hopefully you don't. But uh, I, I don't get any revenue from that. So hopefully you guys don't. Um, but anyway, the point is, uh, people are, are suddenly happy now that like, they don't have to stretch. They don't have to stretch out their videos so long or. or yeah, needlessly pad them or anything like that, but it's like all my videos are always like half an hour, um, unintentionally, sort of intentionally, sort of unintentionally. Um, they're usually like half an hour, and my Fire Emblem videos tend to be like an hour or something. Uh, but yeah, I just thought that was kind of funny that like it's not something I'm really too concerned about. For one, obviously, because I'm not monetized, and for two, uh, even if I was monetized, like my videos, I try to make them shorter, and it doesn't uh, <laughs> obviously doesn't turn out that way. Um, so yeah, so let's, uh, this looks like the most interesting team here. Let's see what we can, uh, basically what we can do here. Um, this one takes some thinking. I think this bottom one is pretty easy though. I'm going to go with, uh, you here, you here, and where's SSB? Uh, you here. Uh, so this bottom one, it's all water. You kind of don't want that necessarily, but um, especially with S10A uh, possibly stunning somebody. Uh, but I think I'm just gonna go with that anyway. Uh, I have a cleanse on my on DN, as well as a defense buff on Crow, and uh, just SSB on attack buff is ridiculous. So let's let's see where this where this takes us. Um, doesn't look too bad. 
Uh, top team. I'm thinking something like uh, where is he? Uh, you. And where is and that? Because uh, turn one, I think uh, depending on how you know fast this Basar is, whether he stuns and, and all that kind of RNG that could happen. Um, I think uh, just killing her, uh, using her to kill him, should turn out fine or decently fine anyway. Uh, if that's not, if that doesn't seem like the solution, I think maybe just going like full tank here. So maybe something like um, like that into where's uh into that might be pretty good too um but yeah so because i mean all the damage on my side is going to be permanent basically but uh that uh vildred depending on how hard he hits it doesn't matter how um unpermanent the damage is considering i have a healer he could just straight up like just destroy us i think i've shown uh, this this composition against a few people. I think I showed this one time against this, and Vildred got off so many um, dual attacks that it ended up not mattering anyway. So I don't know if I want to go with that there. I like her baiting these two, but uh, what's making this uh, super annoying is this Bazaar here. This might be a little easier if I had like a really tanky Charlotte. Uh, or more just, I guess more tanky fire units in general, but I don't. So we're sort of stuck here trying to figure out what to do. I'm just going to take this one here probably as a loss. This looks like a lot to deal with. I recently geared my Violet. He's got like some gear, he's not very good though, so I'm hesitant to bring him into anything. Uh, yeah, this is pretty tricky. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have to go with that. Hopefully the healing from these two is enough to like, um, they can sustain each other because basically the problem is it's like they might do enough damage to just kill them both. Uh, but let's just see where both of these teams go. Uh, yeah, there's no, there's no uh, use in sort of delaying that. Let's take a look and see what kind of speed this Basar is running here. Two. So that Basar, so that wow, that, that a Vildridge probably running something like what two twenty five maybe, two probably a little too higher, two thirty something speed. Uh, so he might not hit very hard, so let's see... Yeah, he didn't hit as hard as uh, I really feel like he should have. Uh, of course, I think he's dead, yeah. Okay. So let's... Survive him and see what happens. Uh, I think Basar's gonna go, and then my DJ is gonna go after his Basar. I'm not sure, so let's take a look here. Yeah, so I just put Basar exactly where he was to begin with. Um, so basically I can do this. Uh, so here's hoping uh, my Lilibet is geared enough to kill uh, this guy here. Let's see what happens. Okay, he's, she's, she's, she's gonna kill him. Uh, yep, okay. I'm still, that still does make me nervous, I really, wow, that is a lot of damage. That, uh, okay, there's no joke. Uh, let's just hit you. Uh, so hopefully this isn't too bad. Um, I can just sort of, as long as people can decently survive what's going on with that guy. Uh, he got that off, yeah, that's fine. Of course I got the stun again. 
Uh, let's hit him with this. Uh, is he dead? Holy shit, he's dead. Um, very interesting. Uh, if anything, I think she's just gonna kill him. Okay, so she's gonna hit. He's gonna hit. Oh, her. Okay, that's fine. Damn, dude, water's delicious. Like you can feel the. What's the word? I think this is one of the problems with um, with with Riolu here. I call him Riolu. Uh, I think it's one of the problems with Riolu is uh, you can just kind of save him for last and then just deal with him at your own pace because his because his S three takes so long. Um, but I think let's see who's gonna hit DJ. Sorry, that's fine. Um, I think he's he's like he's much more threatening when you you know the opponent's using him. Oh wow, that's bad. Let's see if she dies, dude. I was so close. I was so close. Did you see that? Oh my gosh, dude. Ugh. Uh, yeah. So anyway, like I was saying though, uh, he feels I feel like he's a lot more threatening when the enemy's using him because he'll he'll make smarter decisions. Uh, that one just had like basically just came down to getting out geared um yeah i mean that was a lot of speed and a lot of damage coming out of uh, him a lot of them i faced they barely like they barely half hit uh ruel um but yeah so something i have to deal with uh i think partially too ruel was also on uh touch of Rekos. i was just testing that out uh for some pvp comps uh uh, uh in just regular mm -hmm. arena Let's uh let's get some let's get started working on you. Uh, because I have the crit resistance buff, he's gonna do a little bit less damage if he doesn't crit. Oh, so he crits, that's fine. Um just like he won't crit me as often as I really would like him to, so um which was the only thing that was concerning me, but it's looking like I got two I got crit twice in a row, which is pretty pretty cool. Pretty good, I think. Uh Bodes well, I think, for this uh, for this round. But this one, I think, this is more secured. Basically, <laughs> I did crit the only person I really shouldn't have crit. Uh, but it's not too bad. I have enough uh, damage coming out of this. How did she get that barrier? Wow, they just died. Yeah, see, so uh, SSB on attack buff is it's uh, it's no joke, honestly. Um, you really want to be careful when you when you see them. Uh, she brought back the one uh, I sort of wanted to. Uh, she's not going to be doing very much. I actually wonder if her passive is reset. Let's go take a look here. Can we see how many stacks she has? No, you can't see any of that. Uh, let's just hit you. I have about 7k damage, so I could probably I just nuke her, but just hold on a sec. Um, I think maybe, I'm not, I don't say, I'm not saying uh, it would have been like 100%, but I really do think maybe Water's Origin would have been better during the last uh, the last engagement on Ruel. Um, well, there you go. Just make sure I gotta change my uh, artifacts next time. Uh, she's down. She's down to like nine k or eight k. She's got. She's at like twenty thousand or nineteen k HP. Um, okay, one. So I get to S two. Uh, let's take a look at how much damage this does. Twenty five plus five. Or 25 plus 3. Uh, let's hit you again. Uh, and then we get to do like this. Yeah, so this one, again, this one's not that bad. Um, that top one was really rough. That Arbiter didn't really do enough damage. Um, but basically they just like shoved all their gear onto, uh, onto Riolu, which kind of sucks. Uh, again, I get to go without a uh, without a um, uh, CR pusher again, which kind of sucks, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, we'll make do. We'll make do. Uh, again, like like always, we're attacking late, so there's not a whole lot of uh, a lot of stakes for my attacks. It's looking like we're gonna win anyway, um, which is all right. Let's uh, get this out of the way. 
Uh, let's go see. I want to attack some. So this one, maybe this one. There's. I've got to attack. Someone else has three attacks. So let's 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 drop this tower. That other tower. Let's see if there's any other towers. Yeah, we're gonna drop those two towers so that the person after me uh, could probably hopefully take them out and give us more havoc. Not that it's that big a deal again, but it's just good to like give someone else like that uh, alley oop there. Uh, so let's. So this one down here looks. This one up here looks kind of easy. Um, if I can manage to connect. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. Oh, I forgot about that. I was thinking this top one was gonna be pretty easy because I could just run uh, Ruel in case Crow decides to nuke anybody, but uh, obviously I can't do that. Okay, so I don't want to run her up there because obviously he's just gonna like destroy her. Down here, do I want to run? Yeah, I think I want to run this. And no, actually. Let's let's go with uh, where is it? This is actually a little more interesting than I thought because I don't have a reviver anymore. Oh man, Guild Wars sucks without a reviver. Um, where's Crow? Yeah, let's let's keep Crow down here. Uh, and I want to bring what's her name? Where is she? Momo. Okay, so up here, gotta think about this one. Oh, actually, this looks pretty interesting. I think I might just bring you double Tenebria. You really want like a CR pusher in this scenario, but. Um, you know, whatever. Uh, let's just bring you, maybe. <clears throat> um, so, hopefully, Tenebria does her thing, gets to do her thing before Crow S3s her and just destroys her, or I can get the skill nullifier up before then. Um, and then uh, regular Tenebria just kind of comes in here, or S Spectre Tenebria just kind of comes in here and uh, sweeps up everything afterwards. Um, maybe I should bring Ravi. Um. Da -da -da. Yeah, I might just like bring Ravi or something. What about that? With uh, yeah, no. Well, I was thinking originally just to like maybe I could just nuke this uh, Charon, but or this uh, Crow, but uh, she's just gonna revive him, so that's not useful. I think I'm just gonna do this. We'll see how this goes. Um, down here, it's fine too. Uh, I'm gonna put the Montmorency's immunity onto SSB and then hopefully just she just does whatever she does from there Okay, what kind of speed we're looking at here nobody has okay, this is fine uh, Hopefully I can keep that uh, Crow on lockdown with s1s, but we'll see how that goes. Oh, and I actually got the uh, There we go. So I guess no need uh, Let us hit you Let's see if I can provoke you. There we go. That's what I wanted. Who's she gonna hit with this? She's probably. I feel like she's just gonna hit uh, Tenebria, right? Yeah. Let's see if she kills her. And she resisted, even though she doesn't have any resistance. It's kind of weird. Um. Let Let's just hit you with this. I don't have a lot of damage on my Tenebria on my S10A. Uh, but that did pretty good damage, so I like it. I'm good. Happy with that amount of damage. Okay. Let's hit this. 
So she's gonna, uh, Spectre Tenebria is just gonna focus on regular Tenebria over there, which is kind of irritating, but that's fine. Uh, well, basically, I think this is it, right? I think we just got it. Uh, and this was basically one, obviously, not really strategically, more like uh, the gear on their side wasn't really that high. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Like that, that uh, Ruel had way too little resistance there, I think. Uh, let's go take a look at this. So this SSB, this uh, Dizzy is just going to die immediately. Um, she doesn't have nearly enough uh, HP. Uh, so let's do... I'm going to focus on her because I really do need to kill her. Her healing is ridiculous. So let's heal you up. Um... Okay, I missed the one of the debuffs I didn't I needed to hit. Okay, so she's got idols cheer, which is strange to me. Okay, and I get the S2. Uh, let's not miss on anybody. Sepulchrum is an interesting choice, I think. She's gonna heal okay dizzy, that's fine. That's a decently fast uh Oh, no wonder she's so fast. I was like, wow, she's like really fast. It's really weird. Uh, but yeah, it's just that... Uh... Okay, so she's got decent resistance. So as long as I can keep baiting Dark Corvus into... Uh, what's his name here? Into Crow, I should be fine. Okay. Okay, so he's gonna S3, hopefully just hit the crowd. Um, we'll see what he does though. Oh wow, she's already got the S3 again. It's going a lot worse than I uh, would have wanted to. Uh, the speed, that, that Dizzy has a lot of effectiveness. Because my Momo has 150 effective effect resistance so you know that's fantastic basically oh come on please just die oh my gosh dude uh, she gets the heal off again I have to burn this on her oh shit oh my gosh dude, this game can suck my dick I can't believe she didn't die from that. Thank you. Okay, so she can heal herself. Let's hit you. I mean, I should be hitting the Corvus right now. He's got defense break, but that's fine. Um... She's gonna heal herself. Okay. Oh shit, again. Okay. Uh, this time it's more my fault though. Uh, the only person who's low here is going to be Crow. so hopefully he just hits the Crow. Uh, so there's really no reason not to hit him here. Oh, let's hit you. Okay, so hopefully he'll hit the Crow. Okay, that's good. Um, question is, do I want to S3 the Corvus or the Momo? It's almost really getting on my nerves. Yeah, I think I'm just going to S3 the Momo, because this is ridiculous. Let's see what kind of damage we're looking at. Uh, looks about just enough. 
Uh, let's set you with this. All I need to make sure I get some healing onto Crow. Uh, let's just hit him with this to penetrate some defense. Now he can't heal, which is good, because he heals off of his S something, one of them. Uh, you don't want to S3 him, because then uh, you'll max heal uh, Crow, and then uh, Crow, he'll, he won't hit Crow with the S3. Uh, though the problem is Crow might die here. Okay, now I can S3 the crow, because it won't full heal him. And he's not healing from his S3, so this is good. Uh, we'll just hit him with this. This would be a good time for uh, Judge Kisei, just because like, you can reduce his cooldowns. Uh, I mean, I'm, I wouldn't suggest like bringing it into this, because he'll, he'll, he'll attack her, but... One of those things where it's like... I've been seeing a lot more J. Kiseis running around that are... Uh, aren't so focused on cleaving that they have like a lot of effectiveness and a lot of speed. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, he's gonna hit someone random here, which... Unless I... Uh, I think we got speed on him, which is fine. Yeah, we got speed. Okay. Uh, that's that. Uh, so that's a double there, which is pretty good. If I can get through this. Uh, doing anything during a uh, summoning, a new summoning thing is always a miserable experience. Uh, which is why I'm doing my summoning. So tomorrow I'll have my uh, summoning video up. Uh, let's do, I'm just going to bring you, her, and where's Euphine at? Uh, where's Euphine and Euphine? Let's see how that goes. Um, well, maybe instead of uh, her up there, I can run like a. Uh, what to, actually? What to run? Um. Who was I thinking? I had someone perfect in mind. I was like, oh, instead of running that, uh... yeah, I think I'll just leave uh, Tinibri up there. Um, or maybe I <laughs> just run all grass. Uh, Counterattacks do proc the, what's it? The, the thing I was looking for is someone who doesn't proc that, but I can't remember who it was anymore. Uh, let's try, actually, this team looks kind of slow. So what if we try this? Where's my Tamarin? Uh, I'm gonna go check their speeds really quickly, so I gotta make sure. I don't remember. I've moved some gear around, so I don't remember if Tamarin's faster than. I think she is, though. Hopefully not. Go look at. Because uh... once you kill the SSB on this team, there's really no other threats. Two twelve, I think Tamarin's like two ten. I swear Tamarin's gonna get uh, the RNG, so she's gonna get pushed ahead of Iceria. But whatever. If I lose here, I can just complain that it was uh, RNG. Um, so that's a lot. I'll be fine. Two o four. I think that's enough. Yeah, I think that's enough to like uh, not worry about the speed RNG. I think that's where we're, we're going there. Uh, right here, where are we? Okay, right here we're going with Tamarine, Iceria, and uh, uh, Tamarine, Iceria, and Euphine. As soon as I can get back to them. So Euphine is here. Uh, where's Iceria? Uh, grass. Fire's down here. Uh, Tamarin is right here. And I need uh, 
Mother Grass unit. Where is she? Oh, she is. I see her. Okay. Uh, down here, I need more damage. I need a lot of single target damage, too. Let's go with this. this and where is they both need attack buff so yeah I'm gonna go with uh... ah, where is DN here she is Let's go with this uh, we're gonna try out her even though she's not geared properly actually she's she's geared pretty crap like I might actually want to run someone else Let's go with you instead, yeah. This looks good. I like this. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna think about that second team. I'm just gonna go right into it. I really don't care. Um, sure, I'm double stacking the attack buff on the regular Tenebria, but... Okay, so I was right. Uh, their team wasn't fast. Um, I'm double stacking the uh, attack buff on the Tenebria, which is kind of bad, but... Uh, let's hit you... Uh, like I said, I'm double stacking the attack buff on Tenebria, which is fine, because um, at least, uh, what's her name, the girl over there is getting it. Okay, so basically, the, the question you need to ask yourself here, I might just S2 with, uh, uh, get out of here, uh, I might just S2 with um, Euphine. Uh, that took about, would you say that's a third? That's a quarter, maybe? Quarter of our HP? Uh, I'm going to be greedy. Uh, like I said, uh, low stakes, so let's just not give a shit. And I killed her. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, so now I get to just one-shot the crow. This is this this actually couldn't have gone better. Um, this is actually fantastic. Uh, let's hit uh, you. You can't use Lyseria Tamarine in a lot of stuff, right? But uh, when you can, <laughs> you can. Uh, for those of you, so yeah, that, if you have these two sitting in your box and they're not super well geared, I mean, you don't have to run like 220 something. You just run, you know, like here, I, you saw what my Tamarine is actually like 250. Not even 250, I mean 215, 212, something like that. So if you just have them well built and you can sort of gamble as well as, as, well as like taking information from your Discord. Uh, you can gamble, like, hey, these guys aren't fast enough, I just go in here with something and then just stomp all over them. Um, sometimes that's just the answer. Um, what kind of, something that kind of stops that a lot of the times is going to be, um, like, like that comp with Vildred, uh, Vildred, FCC, and, uh, what's her name? And Charles or something like that? A Vildred, FCC, and Charles? You can take Iseria Tamarin into that, right? But the thing is, some people are pushing two, two something speed on their, uh, on their, uh, what's his name, on their uh, A Vildreds. So you know, as long, I mean, as long as you get proper info and maybe like you know, again, if you have a more dedicated build, you can push like two hundred, two twenty, two thirty speed on your Iseria Tamarin combi com combination, combination, um, and then that make that sort of just basically make that bait because then you know you take like a Euphine or something. Uh, or or take uh, what's her name? Um, I know what her name is, uh, Lilibet, right? And you can just one shot the the Arbor Vildred, and then from there proceed to do whatever you want with everybody else. Uh, let's get this. Uh, okay, so I'm actually curious to see whether or not I have uh, enough. Effectiveness, effective, yeah, effectiveness to hit either of these two. Uh, okay, so that's cool. Uh, actually, she has like seventy something crit, and she crits quite a lot. Uh, it might just be like reverse selection bias, like because I don't expect her to or really care whether she crits or not. Uh, maybe I'm just sort of like it's easier to let it go when she doesn't crit, right? Because I'm not expecting her to, and I don't really care whether she does or not. 
Um, but yeah, that's something I was sort of thinking about. I'm not entirely sure what the situation is there. Um, I think with enough CC, this Corvus might not even get a, uh, a turn to uh, to do much here. Ooh, almost dead. Let's see if I can kill it with this, please. <laughs> I don't want her to revive anything. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's hit you with this. And he's dead. Okay. There you go. Uh, so he didn't even get a turn. Um, that's a pretty interesting solution to that, I think. Uh, this is kind of the problem with a lot of these like double healer comps, like double healer and, and just a tanky thing there, uh, is that they don't do enough. I think if he had gone, he or she or this person had gone with like double idols cheer, it would have been a little more threatening. Um, but as it was, I mean, there, there was nothing there to threaten me from doing what I just did. Um, I got kind of lucky that uh, all three crits happened because then my, uh, oh, what's your name? My uh, C-Dom got to take a turn and then, you know, proceed to do whatever C-Dom does. Uh, but yeah, so that was for today. I uh, Let's see what we, again, as always, uh, 365. Um, I lost uh, one of these to, to this guy up here. <laughs> it was so close. It was basically I lost a Tarnji. Uh, is what it turned out to be, which it, it's all right, I think. Because um, this evasion, right, you're, you're basically 50-50. It's a little more than 50. I think he had Dream Blade, so that makes it 70 percent chance of evasion uh, but basically when you're looking at percentage chances it's always just like either it happens or it doesn't happen so it's basically 50 50 um so yeah it was 50 50 whether or not i i could have ended up beating that i think if uh little bit took a turn i think if she hadn't missed on her turn you know i probably would have won or, or you know something in there wasn't a miss might have uh, gotten me that but you know it is what it is it's why you put uh for those of you who are, who are thinking about uh riolu and all that stuff it's why you put riolu on your your defense team, uh, you increasing your RNG uh, just means you know higher chance of, of something going wrong and, and you winning. Uh, conversely, right, uh, like like I said, it's always RNG. Conversely, um, I could have just gone in there and then have somebody uh, one shot uh, Riolu, and that would have been that would have been that, right? Um, but yeah, and it, yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's uh, that's that's today's Guild War. Um, you know, hopefully uh, everything else goes fine. I think tomorrow, yeah, definitely tomorrow I'll have my uh, summoning video for uh, Vildred, and then maybe the day after that, or at some point in the future, I'll have the Euphine uh, summoning video. I have to pull some more uh, bookmarks. I don't have uh, I don't have all 600 of them yet, so I, I gotta go pull some more, uh, and then just get the 600 and go summon for her. Hopefully, I get her artifact. I really want the artifact. I almost want the artifact more than I want Euphine, but I think I'm I think I'm starting to warm up to Euphine a little more. Um, I th I think what I'm going to run her as is like a high speed, high tanky, high effectiveness, uh, and just sort of like not care about damage. I mean, have some crit on her right, and have have some other stuff, but uh, focus on her effectiveness and her uh, survivability. Because uh, for one, she gets a greater attack buff, so she can kind of like mitigate because the greater attack buff is like putting on a, a a 70 piece of gear right it, it just multiplies your your attack by 70 percent it gives you 70 percent extra attack uh, so it's like having like you know a, a second boot and one of them instead of maybe running a speed boot i can run a speed boot and an attack boot theoretically because of her s3 right um so something like that so i just was thinking tanky and effective uh and just have her run her own artifact and and see what she can get away with um doing that i think one of the pro the other one of the main problems oh, i think she dispels let's actually go check her out real quick as uh, there's sort of a an appendage here to the last uh to this video mm. all heroes i think she's a warrior fire warrior she should be around here somewhere okay i think her s3 dispels isn't it or does it not uh okay so it dispels two debuffs okay uh yeah i think the biggest problem she's facing is like immunity basically just makes this uh null and void but since her first turn is going to be consisting of doing this yeah that's, that's pretty good yeah, so this is pretty good. I think I like this. Um, does this attack anybody? Oh, it says damage dealt, so yeah, I guess this attacks AoE probably. 
Extends the duration of buffs granted by this skill by one turn. Buffs? She only gets one bur one burf one buff, right? Yeah, there's only one buff attached to this, so I'm not sure what this means. Oh, it's 75%. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I'll probably have like a video just talking about her, um, maybe like a unit analysis video or something like that. Um, but yeah, like the fact that she does this first means that uh, if they have immunity, if they have an immunity set, you don't have to worry about that so much because you're doing this first, right? Uh, boosting everybody by 20, giving yourself great attack, and uh, dispelling two debuffs. Um, there's this here. And then this will come in later. So hopefully, like, immunity set doesn't shut her down uh, as badly. Because uh, one of the problems with, uh, what's her name, Dizzy, right, is that she has to S3 first, because otherwise it's not really worth it. But, like, immunity kind of shuts down that whole thing. Now, you can delay it for a turn, but especially, like, an RTA, uh, delaying that for, like, even a turn is enough to usually uh, get you uh, dunked on. Um, so, yeah, it's always something to consider. But, yeah, anyway, um, that was it for that. Uh, she might be she might be good. I like the CR push and the annoying uh, CC she might bring as well as like the fact that she has what Roman's passive should have been Like Roman's passive makes him immune to CR reduction But it doesn't help your team. So I mean if it gave him immunity and your team some CR um, CR reduction uh, defense there or, or I don't know protection or some 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 whatever you want to say if he is passive came with something like that uh, He'd be way more useful. I mean I, apparently he's being he's seeing a lot of use in RTA right now So I mean, I'm not that I haven't been in RTA for a while. So I mean I have to go see why um, and He's not like horrible, but like I really think his his passive should have had something like this um, but Yeah, so I'm glad she's got it uh, does not have uh, increases evasion. Yeah, and then she gets uh, her own evasion. So basically, uh, when she's full health, uh, Earth heroes can't touch her. So uh, I don't know if she's going to be a counter to uh, Basar because uh, Basar, there's no way to counter Basar that isn't just killing him. Because uh, even though, like, so he does that turn one, and then turn two, if if she's there, which she should be, right? Uh, if you build her fast enough, but you know, yeah. Uh, turn two, right? You're gonna ask two and then clear that stuff and not grant immunity because she doesn't give immunity, um, and then do whatever you're gonna do after that, right? And the important thing is you got rid of the the dispel, the buff block. Um, but but like Basar isn't only just like turn one doing that. I mean, a Basar on Abyssal Crown is like as cancerous as anything, um, and he's usually again he's usually gonna be the fastest unit, so he's just gonna lap you guys while you're dealing with a whole bunch of other units and fire isn't a very good unit to be uh to have especially like you know but yeah anyway um i'll probably talk about this more in depth uh in like a, a video dedicated to her if i end up doing anything like that um i might do it in the um i'll probably focus on that on the uh, the summoning video i have for her which will probably be later this week uh, but yeah that's it that's it for today uh sort of getting into nonsense there